So this exercise is not super technical, but it certainly has enough in it to give you a good jump and keep your horses on form. It's good for fairly novice horses and riders, but it also has enough in it, if made big enough of course, for advanced riders and horses. It's nice and easy to set up and is generally a cool exercise to have up in your arena. So this is how you set it up. In the one sort of corner of your arena, set up a vertical at a slight angle like this. Then on a curve, 32 paces away, at a right angle to the side of the arena, set up an oxer, which is jump number two. Then, pretty much in the center of your arena, you set up a two stride combination, oxer to vertical. 12 paces apart as jump number three. Make sure you leave a clear path for the first line and the last line as well. Then in the bottom corner of your arena, at a right angle to the side of the arena, set up an oxer like this. Then on a straight line 28 paces away, you set up your last vertical like this. Make sure you can get a clear ride into the combination as well. And that's it, all set up and ready to go. So because this isn't the most technical exercise, there aren't too many pressure points. However, there are a few areas you need to ride well. For starters, the ride to number one could easily catch you out. Because you're coming off a sharp turn, it would be easy to lose impulsion here and have a quiet ride to number one, which would make the related distance to number two ride too long. So make sure you really ride out of the turn to number one. The ride to the combination and number four both have relatively short approaches. So make sure you look at them as early as possible, no later than where the X is, to give you enough time to find a good takeoff point. That's about it really. Good luck and I hope you get as much use out of this exercise as I have. So once you've jumped this exercise a few times, jump it in reverse. In other words, start from five and work your way back to number one. Just make sure you change your oxes and move your ground line so that you can jump all the jumps from the other direction. <laughs> 